We are ready to put the finishing touches on our garment. The beautiful lace trim. This is a crocheting project, so here we go. Also, excellent news, we now have some written instructions that back up these videos. You do not have to buy anything. There's all the information you need in the videos. But if you're a person who would like written instructions, they are available at a nominal fee. Getting there! You can still see waist yarn at the hem. The sleeve hems are done. The neckline needs to be finished and of course the front bands which are on the other side. But we are getting close. Let's get to work. The basis of the entire edge of the sweater, fronts and bottom edge, begins with single crochet. This first row is not very fast because we remove our waist yarn at the same time. There are some tricks you can do to speed it up, but I'm just going to show you the basic way. Here's the pace that works for me. As you probably know, knit stitches and crochet stitches are never quite the same proportion, so you can't just do one for one. And the Addy knits a little bit more loosely than most of us would hand knit this or machine knit it on another machine. So what I've been doing is three plain single crochets into three working stitches and then one decreasing single crochet what I just did, work into two successive loops, then yarn over and work them off at the same time. So let's count together and do that. Single crochet into one stitch. Single crochet into a second stitch. single crochet into the third stitch. Of course, successive rounds will become much, much faster. Now we're ready for our decrease. If you're nervous about it, you can work into one, then remove the waist yarn from the next, insert, yarn over, pull up. You would now have three loops, so two stitches are getting worked into one single crochet. And there's the last time we did it. We'll do that all the way up to the corner. At this time point, oh, and here's something I can point out to you. What happens if this occurs? Nothing. You just fix it. Single crochet. Now I'll fix the next one. Pull through. Pull through. My line of stitches is back to normal. Single crochet. There's my second single crochet. Third single crochet. I'm going to be brave and free two stitches at once. And we'll do our decreasing single crochet. And work it off. Yeah, I told you there are some things you can do to speed up if you feel confident, and now that you know that no disaster befalls you, if you in fact let a stitch run, let's try it. One little trick, once you free them, in the hand that's not holding the hook, pinch the stitches and begin working the hand backwards. And they can't really go anywhere while you've got them grabbed. Two, three... And now our decrease. Well, you see that was a bit faster. Let's free a few more. I should show you with the next little bit. Let me work into these three. You can also free the waist yarn after you've worked the stitches. If this that I'm doing, bearing the bra stitches, makes you nervous. We don't want you to need Xanax or something, so here's what else you can do. I've done the three. Now I can just work into these with the waist yarn still there. There's one. 
and this is the decreasing one. So working into the second stitch before I yarn over and pull through. And now I really only have one or two left to work before the corner. Oh, three. Well, that'll work out well. There we go. Now let's get out the last of this waste yarn because it's in our way and go on working up the side. Up the side, well actually this is the center front we'll be working up. It's the side of the piece of knitting is what was in my mind. As usual you may want to work an extra single crochet into the corner to turn the corner. Now here's the pace that I found worked for me. Work every other row two or three times and then work every row. So I've worked into that stitch, skip that stitch, work into the next stitch. And now that's three of them that I've done every other row. Now one. The goal is, of course, to get an edge that doesn't stretch and doesn't shorten as the basis for our front. Now, remember when I was finishing the edges of the armholes and the sleeves, I only worked into a single loop? Here, I'm working into the entire edge column of stitches. So, every other row three times, one, every other row two, Counting up, two, and now every row one time. So that's the next one. There is a certain degree to which this will vary based on your yarn and your personal style. So use my suggestion as a starting place, not as the Ten Commandments. Every other row. One, two, every other row, counting up one, two, every other row, that's three in a row, and now the very next one. We're going to do this all the way up the front of the garment. When you get to the back neck, you'll be working around bound off stitches, but you're still working stitches, not rows, so you go back to the pace that I was using one, two, three, decrease. How I will be working around these whole edge stitches where we um, bound off, right under the chain. After you've worked straight up this vertical part of the front edge and you get to the diagonal, you may have already done, as I have, worked chain stitches into the edge evening it out and making a smooth edge to single crochet into. If that is the case, and I do recommend it, you don't have to do any counting of decreasing or adjusting of rows and stitches because you've already got an even row of chain stitches, which was right along there for me. And I've already worked my row of single crochet into those, and you see how nicely it laid in there. So that's, I think, probably the best approach is prepare the edges, as we've talked about, by getting chain stitches to work on. Now, I have finished the first row all the way around the bottom. Actually, the second. The first one is the one that I was taking waste yarn out. I have done another row of single crochet. And let me find the corner so we can finish up. There it is. Here are the last few single crochet stitches needed before we get up to the vertical part of the front band again. And of course now it's very, very fast. We're just single crocheting into an established, properly sized crochet stitch. So that's as simple as it can be. At the corner, 
probably want to work two or even three single crochets into your corner stitch to make the turn. Whatever usually works for you, that's what I would use here. It's been a while since I've done one, so I'm going to try three. That's my best guess of what I want first. I need a little more slack in my yarn. Hang on while I pull that up. Okay. There, this is my corner stitch. That's one, two. Given what we're about to do, I think two is going to do me. Because the band is what we're starting on now. It is also single crochet. We've done one row of regular ordinary single crochet all the way up the front. The band is single crochet in the back loop only. Just like this. And of course we no longer have to count or concern ourselves because everything's established. I should add that after your first round or while working your first round, everything that ought to match, whoops, kind of not here, everything that ought to match in length should be compared. For example, the slants of the front. I double checked that to make sure that they were the same length. The vertical sweep of the front, ditto. It would be easy, especially where we're needing to adjust between the shape of knitting and the shape of crocheting to get them not perfectly matched. Another place that I worked on carefully is the back neck to make sure the left and right were the same length. So I hope you did that too. Or we'll go back and check it now before you get too far into this. Now to review what we're doing. The bottom edge, and this includes the one on the sleeve, begins with one row of single crochet with a decrease every so often. In my case, I did three plain single crochets and then a decreasing into the next two stitches. Now two more rows of plain single crochet, rounds that will be on the sleeves. And on the sleeve, you want to end up with 36 stitches because that will make an even pattern around when we go to do the fancy lace edge. Then up the front, after the first base row of single crochets has established the spacing and defined the edge, we single crochet in the back loop only. Oh, and I should mention, the band can actually be any width you want, but I think at least three rows of single crocheting back loop only is going to probably look nicest. Now we're getting to the exciting part, Fatima's Nifty Lace. I have been around the whole sweater three times. That's three rows of single crochet on the bottom, including that first one where we took the live stitches and began to crochet into them. And we've got one row of plain single crochet and two crochet in the back loop only down the front bands, which is there. Now when I got to this corner, I single crocheted around the corner before starting this business with the cluster. Because do you see how these spread out? I didn't want it to stick out past the band. So I worked around the corner doing three single crochets in the corner one and then two single crochets past that. Now when I show you how to do this, I need you to remember a couple of things. Whoops, I've dropped some of it. It's okay, we'll just do this one again. Fatima and I come from different parts of the world. So when I was trying to understand her single her crochet instructions, they were not identical to what I was used to. So what I have done is combine what she said with what worked for me and this looks like her trim, but I think where I'm using triple crochets, she actually was using what I would call in the United States quadruple crochets. I tried it that way, and for me in this yarn, I wasn't pleased with the results. So I'm going to show you my way. I just need you to be aware 
that there's probably more than one way to get a similar effect. There almost always is. This is a cluster. This is a cluster. After making two clusters, we count over one, two, three, skip those, and start triple crocheting into the next single crochet. Triple crochet, as I know it, yarn over twice, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. To finish it, I'd yarn over and finish pulling through. But in a cluster, we don't finish it. We do the beginning of another triple crochet. Now, all of my clustered triples are alike on here, and I have one loop for each of them, plus my original loop. Now I yarn over, pull it all together, finishing the cluster. When you are working into the first, I mean, rephrase it. After you've made the first cluster, we work a second cluster into the same stitch. But first, we make a chain of three. One, two, three chain stitches. Now I begin again, starting as though triple crocheting, but yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through only twice. This would finish it up, but I'm not actually going to do that. And start another triple crochet. And start a third. And this time, after I get them all to the same point, I finish my cluster. Now we're ready to count over. One, two, three. Work into the stitch I'm pinching. No chain stitch this time. Just begin with your next cluster. Make one cluster, one, one almost a triple crochet. Two of them. Three of them and close the cluster by pulling through all. Chain three. Begin the next cluster. And one more beginning of a triple. They're all the same now. Yarn over, pull through everything. Now here's a little quiz. What are we ready for? If you said count over three, skip those, and work a cluster into this one, you were right. There will be one more row after this one that finishes off the edge. We'll, I'll see you in a minute when I've worked around. Okay, I have been the last time around in the main, but I'm ready to go across the bottom for the last time. I want to point something out to you. I changed to a hook that's five millimeters. That's a half a mil millimeter smaller than I was using for my last row of single crochet in the back loop only. And I figured out how I'm going to neaten up this end. Four chain stitches. and then connect it by slip stitching right there. Now, the way that we are going to finish these ends, remember these are three chain chain spaces, but we're going to work five stitches into each one of them. Two single crochets, one triple crochet. This also looks nice with a double crochet in this spot it's just a little bit less prominent of a point. Two more single crochets. My yarn
Burn Supplies Misbehaving. Okay, I gave it a talking to and I'm back. So what we've got here is two singles, a triple, two more singles, and we're going to do a single, see that strand of yarn, and that space right there. We're going to work around the whole thing with one single. And that's what you get. Now we we'll start over working into the chain space. And this is what we'll repeat all the way around. Two singles, one triple. This is triple in American terms. I know that people from elsewhere in the world may be watching it. And you're going to need to translate in your own mind because there's more than one different way of saying it. Two single crochets. And a single crochet between the points of those two clusters. And we're ready to move on. One more time, then I think you'll be fine to do this on your own. But instead of saying single, single, triple, I'm going to talk you through what I'm actually doing so that if you know different terms, you can still manage. We have one loop on the hook. Under the chain, yarn over. Around the chain, yarn over, pull through both loops. Under the chain, yarn over. Yarn over, pull through both lo loops. Yarn over twice. Under the chain, yarn over. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through Two. Yes, you can do that. Yarn over, pull through, two. Under the chain, yarn over, yarn over, and pull through, two. Under the chain, yarn over, yarn over, pull through, two. In the U.S., that's two singles, a triple, a single. Under both the chain and the other strand of yarn, yarn over, around the chain, yarn over, pull through two. That's a single in the U.S. And repeat it all the way around. When I get to the other end, let me show you what I plan to do. And also tell you how I made the end of the last round. There we go. This final cluster, I only did two of the triple crochets and one four stitch chain to make it symmetrical. Now when I have finished two singles, one triple, two singles, I will probably slip stitch into, let me point it out to you, Either this or that stitch, depending which it looks like when I get here. Chain four and fasten off down here. That should make the two ends pretty close to symmetrical. I'm sorry, I slid those where you couldn't see, but now you can. That's my goal. That should make them pretty much symmetrical. And now you can see one corner completed. That is so pretty. I don't know if Fatima made up this lace or if it's something traditional that she's worked with before, but I'm really liking it.